Okay, this is our target street, Hua de Francisco Xavier Pereira. We're gonna be walking directly down that way. And just to give you a little context, uh, this is the other street that we're at. Uh, but we're gonna be going on that side, so we're gonna follow this whole crowd along while we got them. And we're going to um, talk about the naming of the street and um, try to get some clarification and who exactly this guy is that the street's named after as well as just kind of check it all out. So that's our target, it's down that way. Check it out, Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Okay, so we're be going to be walking across the street here. And that's where we started at, was over there. And we got another street sign here, so let me just do a little quick 360 before we before we go down that way. Is um, our goal? Uh, first thing I was going to say that there's some churches down here that are um, named after this Francis Xavier, Saint Francis Xavier. So I'm kind of curious about Francis Xavier Pereira because it's a little bit different, and it's hard to get. I see like different pictures online about that particular person. And I'm going to see if it's a different person, but the Francis Xavier is kind of interesting because um, he died in China. So he was here right before, I think uh, Macau's, I think they attribute 1557 to the date that that it was, uh, became basically kind of a Portuguese colony, I guess they call it, or settlement or something like that. So he would have been here before, like just like five years, he would have died five years before, I think 1552. Francis Xavier. So I'm going to guess that the St. Francis Xavier was um, was uh, probably some, somebody of the Pereira family named their son after that saint because that saint had a lot to do with China and just missionary work and Catholic Church kind of stuff. Wow, look at all that stuff up there. Interesting. They got this whole balcony up there and they just put a bunch of stuff up there but it could be really interesting if that was me I'd probably like make some chairs and just kind of set it all up in an interesting way anyways so yeah this street uh, Fran I, I guess because it's not Saint Francis Xavier then it's probably some um, a different individual named after that saint these clothings are really cheap they're like 39 mop or three for a hundred mop um, just to give you a sense for that, um, a um, eight mop is one dollar. Eight patakas mop is Macau patakas. Mop is Macau patakas. Okay, so if we were to go down this street, there's a market all the way down that way. But today, we're not going to do that. It's, I guess so. So we're gonna keep on going up this way. That's our target street right there. <laughs> There's also an Australian guy that said, uh, mate, I don't like it when you point your fingers and show people where you're going. He was very upset about it. But I know they got pretty good sense of humor, so if an Australian sees it, any Australian, they'll like, uh, Anyways, yeah, he was actually quite upset, and he was like, "If you want, if you count, you're gonna have to not put your finger in front of the camera and point and show directions and show people this way and that way." <laughs> okay, so I kind of like this coat thing up here as well. We keep on going down. The place looks really popular. I don't know what that place is. So that's actually a really popular place. Let me just kind of poke in here real quick. It's Cafe Nam Lin. Okay. It's popular. Oops. I mean, I guess those are, they probably have in a, in a tour book for, um, in Mandarin probably. Um, I'm not saying it's not popular for other people too, but. 
but they look like uh, mainland Chinese tourists who are here on holiday. Okay, so we're gonna keep on going. We got this kind of cool looking street right here. I have them down in here recently. Actually, there's some pretty good locations, all this stuff. There's um, a pretty cool little park all the way down that way, which I'm not gonna target today. And I did a bunch of films the other day where I filmed in this area, it's about evening time. Yeah, that one restaurant right there is really crowded. Kind of catching some good imagery here. And it's kind of a cool haircut there. Tattoos. Okay. Trying to capture some of the scenes here. Got it. I do like that balcony up there as well. So we're just gonna keep on walking in that way. This would be even better if it was like a certain time of evening where the sun kind of comes out a little bit. The sun goes down, I mean. Okay. So we're gonna keep on going. So we get another little taste of Macau. This gradually goes up towards the Kyungwoo Hospital, but it'll take take about 10 minutes to get up there. I'm not gonna go up there all the way. This is actually a pretty big street, so that's our target right there. That goes up to Gia Hill, so there's a lighthouse up there. Um, if you can see all those trees in the distance right up there. Let's just kind of see if we can get across here. There's a nice little restaurant right over there I want to kind of target. This one looks kind of cool. Let's see what this is. So that's the name of it right there. But it looks really popular. And this one looks, um, that looks kind of cool. I don't know the name of it. Let me see. It is right there. Sopa de Pita, so it's a Chinese name and a Portuguese name. Uh, somebody was telling me that like for when they register their business with the government, they have to write um, a Portuguese name and a uh, Chinese name since they're both official languages. And so sometimes they will have um, What's this one? Rabbit and Rat. It's kind of a cool name. That might have like a Chinese zodiac reference. You have the rat, you have the. That's like kind of cool though. Okay, let me just see here. There's a factory, a knitting factory right there. We'll just go up a little bit further and then we're gonna end our video. There's a Daiso up there as well. Yeah, when they create the businesses, double happiness. When they create their businesses, they have to do both Chinese and Portuguese. So sometimes the Portuguese will be translated kind of in a funny way. Artist. tomorrow if they do beards oh such a cool name I might see if they do a haircut so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna end it here Let's see what else is kind of interesting stuff nice neon light right there big wares So you can see kind of like boutique, clothing shop kind of stuff. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get a haircut in this place called Artist. 
the menu's in Chinese, but it's okay. All right, that's it for now. Didn't actually get a cut in there. This looks like a pretty cool place though. I didn't get a cut because um, it's really expensive. It's about $50, $60. And um, it's all in Chinese too, so I might not be able to explain it very well. Um, basically, they just do what my hair style already is. But anyways, we're gonna end it there. So this is actually Francis uh, Huade, uh Francis Xavier Pereira. And if you know what that guy, who that guy is exactly, let me know. And next time I come down here, I can maybe talk about it a little bit more. I was just talking about the saint, but I'm assuming the other guy, I can't really get information in English. There's a few guys that could be. Anyways, some pretty cool little streets everywhere. Let's end it right there. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Yeah. Yeah.